As kids, we always dream about what we're going to be when we grow up. As the son of a football coach growing up near the Red River in Texas, football has always been in Kurt Roper's blood. And now his childhood dreams are becoming a reality. Let's go. Play fast. Get set. Get to moving around. Get your legs alive. Ah, stay in there. Good, 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 good. Eyes and hands in. Eyes and hands in. One hand exchange. Let's go. I think it gets in your blood. It's like anything else. Uh, you get kind of addicted to it if you love it. Roper began his coaching career in 1996, making multiple stops around the SEC and coaching NFL stars Eli Manning and Arian Foster along the way. From 2008 through 2012, he spent time as offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach at Duke, leading the Blue Devils to a record-setting 2013. That helped open the door for a return to the SEC. This league is obviously a great league. It's, it's a league that, uh, you know, you get to go against the, the best talent. I mean, there's really, really good football players in this league. But I think the thing that separates this league is the environments on game day. When you go into a stadium on this in this league, if you're on the road, it's hard to win. It's really hard to win just because of the passion of the fans. And, and so I think that really makes this a great league. Roper will lean on his experiences in the nation's toughest conference to win games for the Gators. He'll also rely on lessons learned from his mentor, David Cutcliffe. Coach Cutcliffe, is a, as far as being a quarterback coach, is the biggest mentor. That I've, that I've had in this profession. He's really trained me how to teach quarterbacks. He's trained me how you have to build an offense to be successful against defenses that are obviously really, really talented. And, and so I've been fortunate to, to learn from him. His approach and game plan for the Gator. The biggest philosophy change that, that I've had over years is that, that you really have to be more aggressive in trying to score points. The game is, is um, changed. Uh, you know, I first got into SEC and was cutting my teeth at Ole Miss and coaching football. You know, if you could find a way in a real big game to score 24 points, then you had a good chance to win that football game. And that's not really true anymore. You've got to go out and, and try to put more points on the board. Step it half, let the tailback clear, align, ball. There you go, that's a good ball. His mindset is put the defense in bad spots, but at the same time, it's put the offense in positions to win. Um, he's going to make it as simple as, it, as he needs it to be, and um, he's going to put us in positions to make plays. He set out office as very, very smart. I mean, when you think about it, it's, it's like a chess game to him, and you know, he's always got the upper hand, so Coach Roper's a smart guy, and I mean, he's always got us in the right position at all times. Be an athlete, be able to stick your back toe in the ground and adjust. While players may see football as a game, Roper looks at it in a much different light. You know, I really like to look at it as a friendship. These guys are my friends, you know. Yes, I'm in a mentor position. Yes, I'm in a position to maybe help guide them in decision making and all that. But it's much more than that. We, we really become friends. When that nickel starts getting outside leverage on number two, we're not wanting to throw a whole bunch of bubbles against that right. look. You with me? Okay. Yeah, here we go. And like I say, I, I, I lean on that relationship as much as they do. Kurt Roper living out his childhood dream for a powerhouse program in the best conference in the country. For Inside Gator Football, I'm Brady Ackerman.